All right, YouTube Access and Allies brethren, welcome back to tour at number two in Wake Forest, North Carolina for this 42.2 version uh, variant game between No Limit as the Allies and myself, Captain Jack, as the, excuse me, got it wrong, <laughs> No Limit as the Axis this time and myself as the Allies, Captain Jack. So for purchases, this is the U.S.'s first turn. Uh, Japan went f uh, just went uh, a few minutes ago and completely obliterated uh, anything uh, that was uh, tan colored or beige colored um, uh, just about uh, everything UK had is pretty much gone and wiped out so anyway uh, the purchases for the US this turn are going to be one transport one aircraft carrier one cruiser and one sub yeah all sea units so there are going to be no combat movements for this turn. There's only going to be non-combat movements. So, let me go ahead and get to those. First, this fighter from Eastern U.S. is going to make is going to fly two spaces to the Western U.S. to join that other fighter there. The bomber in Central United States is going to go one two, three spaces and land on Midway. So it's gonna land there on Midway. The tank in the central U.S. is gonna go one space into the eastern U.S. along with the infantry that's in the central U.S. The transport and destroyer that are off the coast of the U.S. are gonna pick up one artillery and one infantry division and they're gonna go across the Atlantic to Gibraltar and drop those land units off there. The sub in C zone 19 is going to move over two spaces to through C zone 55 to C zone 56. Oh, I'm sorry, C zone 50. Yeah, 56. 56. The destroyer, excuse me, the cruiser and transport are going to pick up one infantry in Brazil and also take them to Gibraltar and move there off of C-Zone 13, or in C-Zone 13. The land units in Szechuan, all but one, well, one, one infantry is gonna go into Xinjiang. The fighter, the uh, flying tigers are gonna go into Xinjiang, and one infantry unit is gonna stay behind in Szechuan and fight the good fight. All right. On the Pacific side of the map, we're going to have, we're going to consolidate fleets. The fleet down here in C-Zone 53 is going to move north into C-Zone 57 and join that fleet there. And the Fleet in C zone 55 are gonna, is going to do the same thing. They're going to move two spaces into C zone 50, whatever that one is there, off the coast of Midway. I forget what I just said. So, and that will pretty much do it for non combat movements. Um, So, for uh, placement of new units, one transport unit will go down into the eastern, off the east coast of the U.S. The rest of it, the aircraft carrier will go down into the western U.S. And the two fighters that are in the western U.S. will now land on that aircraft carrier. So, it will be fully loaded. And the cruiser and submarine will also go down off the west coast of the U.S. So that will do it for non-combat movements and placement. So for unit recap, I'll start here on the east coast. We have, in the eastern U.S., we have two infantry, one tank, one AA gun. Off the coast of the U.S., we have one transport. In Gibraltar, there are two infantry units and one uh, artillery unit. 
off the coast of Gibraltar. There's two transports, one cruiser and one destroyer. In Sinkiang, there are three infantry and one fighter. In Sheshwan, there's one infantry unit. In Alaska, there's one infantry unit. In the western U.S., there's two infantry, two artillery, Oh, I missed something. Uh, I missed something. Another limit. The the transport that was off the coast, off the western coast of the U.S., is taking an infantry and a artillery with it to to Midway. So sorry, I failed to mention that. So let me chip that out here real quick. Sorry about that. I had so many moves, I forgot one. So many moves. All right, so many non-combat moves, that is. <clears throat> so, in the western U.S., we've got one infantry, one artillery, one tank, and one AA gun. Off the coast, west coast, we have one transport, one fully loaded aircraft carrier with two fighters, two submarines, and one cruiser. On Midway, we've got one bomber, one artillery, and two infantry. Off the coast of Midway, we have one battleship, two fully loaded carriers, one cruiser, one destroyer, another battleship, a destroyer, a submarine, a cruiser, and another transport, and the Russian sub is also there with it. So that will conclude the U.S.'s turn. I'm glad I was able to keep this under, under, uh, under a decent amount of time. So it was only... Uh, only non-combat movements and unit placement that, that happened this round. So from the turret in Goldsboro, North, excuse me, forget where I am sometimes. From the turret in Wake Forest, North Carolina, turret number two, this is Captain Jack saying over and out.